Hello, everybody. So, I have something amazingly special today. Probably the best thing ever, perhaps. Certainly, one of the best things to ever happen to me is that I won a... I don't even... a mega box? A Japan candy box mega box from their Instagram. I, I posted a picture of myself and they chose me for this massive haul of candy. So, oh, I am so happy. Thank you, Japan Candy Box. Like, I've, <laughs> I've never won anything, and this is really super exciting. And, yeah, so you guys get to watch me open it. Really a monumentous occasion for this channel. Yeah, so it's in this really nondescript cardboard box. I feel like this is maybe three or four Japan Candy Box worth of, of snacks. I... I'm so hyped. I'm so pumped. We're gonna go. It's gonna be great. Oh. There's a ton of styrofoam pellets, so that's the first look. Holy hell. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. There's a lot going on. I'm slightly overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in a bucket. So what else am I gonna do? Alrighty. That was that was a ton of peanuts. Okay, I'm I'm I don't know what to do. I I definitely want to take a picture of this because really. Seriously, best thing ever. I'm so happy. So I'm just gonna pull everything out and then take a picture and then try a few things. So on the top, <laughs> this long thing of caramel corns and the characters on it are adorable. And I'm gonna power through this because there's a lot to cover. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Another long, long thing of, they look like Cheetos, and there's, <laughs> there's a picture of meat on top. So it's some kind of fancy steak flavored Cheetos. Wow, they really did this for me. This is so amazing. Samurai Japan, that was, one in, that was in one of the previous boxes, and it comes with a, a baseball card on the back. These hoop poop chip things. Ah. Oh. <laughs> a ghost, a ghost with an O mouth. This looks fun. I love green, green frog colored things. Some grape fettuccine. Oh man, this stuff, the lifeguard stuff that I've heavily talked trash on because it tastes like raw energy drink. Oh, there's so much. So much in this box. This box of wonders. Whoa. This is, oh my gosh, Kit Kats. Ruby chocolate Kit Kats with fruits and nuts. Oh, I don't know what these are called, but they were really good. I tried them in one of my last videos. Soba Meshi. There's fried rice on the front. It's, it's just like rice. A stack of chips. I think I also tried this in one of my last boxes or something similar. It's got a really nice picture of some stew on the front. Some kind of filled cookie. The fish, the strange fish, which apparently has actual fish in it according to the other box I tried, Boxu. This looks like Slim Pocky. It just keeps going. So apparently this is a hundred dollars worth of snacks. And oh my gosh. Ah. Some chocolates. Oh, what is this? It's like cute little pyramid shaped tiny packages of, it looks like this, the similar biscuits to Koala March, but they're, they're Disney themed. And then finally, the last 
kind of unit in here is a plastic bag full of smaller little treats. So I'm gonna jump into this. Oh, this is so cool. A little chocolate bar. And hella high chews and puchos. So a Coke flavored pucho, a grape flavored high chew. This looks like, um, Oh, it's a double layer high chew. It has fig and I think grape on the outside. Looks super good. And then finally, another high chew. Kind of looks like a melon soda flavored. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm just screaming with joy internally right now. Uh, two of these, I think they're the martini flavor. Yeah, the blue martini flavored mochi treats and a Kit Kat. Uh, I can't tell what flavor it is from the front. Maybe it's coffee or something like that. It has sort of a hot, hot plate. <laughs> Honestly, it's anybody's guess what that is. My first thought was coffee, but it could be a baked potato, <laughs> which, I mean, I'd be down to try that. Baked potato Kit Kat. At some point they must run out of flavors and have to come up with really weird ones. And then last thing in the box were these Sugar Star candies which I love so much. They're so simple, but they bring me joy. Yeah, so after taking out all the stuff I've tried in previous videos and also the, the stuff that clearly has meat or fish in it, I'm still left with like a really big size Japan candy box haul. So I feel like I always go for the Kit Kats first because they're like the most amazing thing. And these look so good. So it's um, nuts and cranberry with ruby chocolate. Oh, and they come in little single packs. So it got a little bit crushed and melted, but here's what it looks like. Mmm. That is so good. One of the best Kit Kats I've had so far. And I love like the chewy, crunchy texture that comes from the nuts and cranberries on top. Okay, I'm gonna try these next because I love anything that comes in these pyramid packs. They're so cute. It's the perfect shape for a snack. So they have Disney characters on the front. I think this is the princess from Princess and the Frog, but I've never seen that movie. That's kind of cool. I thought it was just going to be Minnie and Mickey. It makes me want to eat more just to see who's on the front. Um, what? What even? What even is this? It kind of looks like Agretsuko's silhouette, but she's not Disney, is she? <laughs> well, she sure does taste good. I was really excited about this when I saw it because I love figs and I love grape flavors. So having them both in a single haichu sounds amazing. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. So far I only taste a grape, and now I taste a fig. It really tastes like fall. It's nice, it goes well with the grape. Okay, I'm gonna try what I think is melon soda high chew next. Some kind of green bubbling concoction, which usually is melon soda. Oh, it's kind of zingy. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit sour. But it doesn't have the fizzing candy on the inside, like some of them do. And it doesn't really taste like melon. So it's probably some other kind of soda. Okay, I'm gonna go for the strange green ghost frog. Frog ghost? The glowing radioactive ghost. Oh, I think it's some kind of alien or space invader. And this one has, <laughs> this one has a melon with, it's like a Saturn type planet, but it's shaped like a melon. There's astronauts hovering around it, so I think this one is melon flavored. They're very flat, and their mouths are the perfect O shape. It's honestly a little bit hard to chew. I was expecting it to be a bit softer, and it does taste like melon. <laughs> So it's licensed by Bandai, and hopefully you can see this, but there's like some kind of 
milk bottle character with a huge nipple on her head. And here she is with Toast Man. I don't know, I find that kind of hilarious. It's like, baby bottles don't have that massive of nipples on top. But alright, you go off, Bandai. I'm gonna try the pink one. Oh, they're so cute! They're tiny! Mmm. This is so good. It's not as sweet as I expected. It's like, kind of if you've ever had Pirate's Booty, sort of like that texture, but a little bit more crunchy. It's super good. Actually, it's kind of reminiscent of Cheeto Puff, but once again, a little bit more crunchy. So this is like the, the rice snack. I'm honestly really hyped to try this. It's very puffy rice. It tastes very fishy, so I think I've accidentally hit a, a fish sauce or fish flake treat. Okay, next I'm trying these chocolate-filled biscuits. It's kind of doughy. Very doughy. Actually, I kind of like it after having it in my mouth for a bit. I wouldn't really call this a cookie. This is the last thing I'm going to try. It's the, the Kit Kat of questionable flavor. I'm hoping for baked potato. Let's do it. It smells kind of nutty. Like peanut butter. However, it tastes nothing like peanut butter. I don't know what that is. It's just a nondescript white chocolate flavor. Oh, I think I, I think I remember getting this in another box and it was like the type of candy you get from a hot, from the hot, what are they called? The spa. Yeah, and I remember joking, like, is it is it bath water flavored? But no, it's basically just white chocolate. Unfortunately, it's not baked potato flavor, which would have been weird, but cool. Okay, well, that's all I'm trying for today. I mean, there's there's enough to last me for months. So this was pretty amazing. Um, once again, thank you to Japan Candy Box for sending this to me. I'm so happy. <sighs> so much joy radiating for me right now. But thank you for watching. Thank you, Japan Candy Box. And I will see you guys next time.